Hey boys and girls, it is VEDA day 15, vlog every day April, and today I have been, what is going on there? That's like sticking straight out of my head like a horn. Um, anyway, get rid of that. Anyway, I have been working on, um, <laughs> it's not going to behave. Anyway, I've been working on dog and cat art today. And um, I think what I'm going to show you is the Chinese Crested I've been playing around with. And I'm going to show you a little Photoshop tutorial on how to... <laughs> it's funny, I'm like worried about this horn that's flying away. Because what I want to deal with is showing you how to make uh, flyaway hairs in Photoshop. What happens when you take an original photo into Photoshop and you clean around the edges is it starts to look really uh, clipped and um, you know you need to um, pull those hairs if it's long haired dog obviously not a lab or short haired dog but if the dog's got flyaway hairs when you go to erase that up to the edge and clean him from his background like erase all the stuff in the background you end up with this you know clipped out image that does not look realistic so you have to use the smudge tool and pull those hairs out so that's what I'm going to show you with this uh, little Chinese crested named Gypsy this is actually a gift certificate uh, donation to the bathhouse uh, redemption on that uh, from last year and so I'm excited about this project uh, the owner is a very eccentric lady that has um, like different colored hair and she wears the most fabulous um, retro clothes uh, so she's very stylish she loves color. okay so this is gypsy you can see I've erased the background here's the original and then there's the version where everything in the background has been erased and you can see she looks like I took a pair of scissors and just cut her out from that original so I'm going to select the smudge tool I'm gonna to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing and um, there she is again. I like to reference the original to kind of get a look at what it actually looks like. But then I take liberties and I don't really worry about matching that original photo exactly. So the smudge tool um, set to finger paint. Um, no, actually not finger paint, just smudge. We don't use the finger paint, we just use smudge. And um, I go back and forth with the strength of it anywhere from 85% to 90% and I also change the size of the brush that I'm using or this you know the smudge tool um, diameter itself from smaller to bigger um, to get different size hairs as I just kinda smudge and work around the the image to pull those hairs out and I just work it and work it and work it until it starts to look a little bit more natural and a little less uh, choppy. So that is using the smudge tool to create fly away hairs. And when you have a dog that's got thin wispy hair like this that flies out into, you know, into the world, <laughs> um, you can't really make an accurate selection um, well, I haven't found a way to actually select and delete the background, leaving all those hairs in place. To me, it's a lot easier just to recreate the hairs and take some liberties when you're doing that to make it fun and wispy and you don't have to be super literal and match it exactly. Um, so anyway, this is Gypsy in progress and I'll show you a couple of the finished ones. Um, I really haven't proofed her yet. I showed her a few proofs, but I like to show around 10. I'm going to get her input before I create the final proofing set and see which direction she wants to go. So I'll go ahead and cycle those few images next.